Hello everyone, today our topic is how to add extracted data from your email into Google Sheets. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new email, then I'm going to extract the data from that email such as email content, email subjects, under name, etc. So for extracting the data, I'm going to use email parser and after extracting the data, I'm going to add these details automatically in my Google Sheet. So for that, I have to build a simple connection between email parser and Google Sheet. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Email Parcel. In Action application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can add extracted data from my emails into Google Sheets. So every time I'm getting a new email, then I want to use the data from that email. So I'm going to extract the data from that email and I want to add this in my Google Sheet. But I can't do this manually and I want to save my time and energy. So for that, I have a solution which I'm going to tell you. So I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So by using Pabli Connect, I will extract the data from my emails and automatically I will add them in my Google Sheet and that too without any coding and programming skills. So for using Pabli Connect, what I have to do is, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page so these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is a folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to add extracted data from your emails into Google Sheets. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So for that, I have to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have. So I'm going to save my workflow in this particular folder of Google Sheets. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says, when this happens, action says, do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first. And here my trigger application is going to be email parser. So by using email parser, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to forward all the emails that I'm getting in my Gmail account automatically to Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to get all the details from my emails and I will extract all the data from my emails that is required for me. So for connecting email parser, what I have to do is I have to first copy this email address and I will go to my Gmail account. And here I have to go to settings. I will click on see all settings. And in this, I have this option of forwarding and POP slash IMAP. So I'm going to open this. And here I have this option of forwarding and in this I can add my forwarding address. So for that, I have to click here on this add a forwarding address. And here I'm going to paste that email address that I've copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here and I will click on next. Now here I have to click on proceed. Now it says a confirmation link has been sent to this email address to verify permission. So I'm going to click on OK. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect and here we have received the response. So in the response, we have received a new confirmation link. And by opening that link, we can confirm that we want to forward all those emails to Pabli Connect. So in my response, I have this body text. So I'm going to open this. So in my body text, I have received this link. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to paste that link here. Now here I have to click on confirm and my confirmation is success. Now we'll go back to my Gmail account and here I'm going to refresh this. And here I'm going to select this option of forward a copy of incoming mail to this email address. So I'm going to select this. I will scroll down and I will click on save changes. And now I'm forwarding all my emails to this particular email address. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to click on recapture email parser response. I will click on yes. And now it is waiting for email parser response. 
Now what is going to happen is that anytime I'm going to receive a new email in my Gmail account, then automatically I'm going to receive the response of that email here in Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to wait to receive a new email. So here I have received this new email. So this is my sender name and in this I have the email subject which is for client invoices and I have the email body which says hello. I need the client invoices for the new order and I want that urgently. Regards team manager. So I have received this email from this sender which is named as Anshul Sahu and this is my subject and this is my body text. Now automatically this email has been forwarded to Public Connect. Now let's go back to Public Connect and check this. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response I have my display email and in this I have the sender name which is Anshul Sahu and I have this sender email which, which is this and I also have the subject of my email which is for client invoices. And here I have also received my body text so I'm going to open this. And in this I have the body text which says hello, I need that client invoices for the new order and I want that urgently regards team manager. And I have received this body text of my email that I've just received on my Gmail account. So I have forwarded that email automatically to Public Connect and by using email parser I'm going to extract the data from that email. And now what I need to do is I need to use all these details and I want to add these details automatically in my Google Sheet. So for that what I have to do is I have to first set up my action step. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my action application is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and add new row will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect Google Sheets with Public Connect. So I'll click here on connect and I will click on add new connection. And I will sign in with Google. And here I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And I have successfully connected Google Sheet with Public Connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to first select my spreadsheet. And for that, I have to take you back to my Google Sheet. And this is my Google Sheet. And in this, I am using the spreadsheet of emails extracted data. And I'm in Sheet 1. And in my sheet, I have these four columns, sender name, sender email, subject, and body text. So I'm going to fill all these details. And I'm going to map these details in Public Connect. So let's go back to Public Connect. And here, first, I have to select my spreadsheet. So for that, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the spreadsheets that are connected with my Google Sheet account. And in this, I'm going to use this spreadsheet of emails accepted data. So I'm going to select this. And here we can see all the details have changed according to my spreadsheet. Now I have these four columns, sender name, sender email, subject and body text. So I have to map all these details and I have to add these details automatically in my Google Sheet. So I have received all these details from the email parser where I've forwarded my email from my Gmail account. Now what I need to do is I need to use all those details and I'm going to map those details here. And for that, I have to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open this response of email parcel and first I need the sender name. So this is my sender name. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I need the sender email. So I'm going to map that. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of email parcel and this is my sender email. So I'm going to map this. Now we need the subject, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to search for subject here. And this is my email subject, so I'm going to map this. So my email subject is for client invoices, so I'm going to map that. Now I need the body text, so I'm going to click here. And I'm going to search for my body text. So this is the body text of my email, so I'm going to map this. And here I have mapped all the required details. Now what I need to do is, I need to click on save and send test token button. And here I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have added all these details automatically in my Google Sheet. Now to check this, I will go back to Google Sheet. And here we can see I have added this new row in my Google Sheet. So the sender name is Anshul Sahu. I have the sender email. I have the subject for client invoices. And I have this body text which says, Hello, I need the client invoices for the new order. And I want that urgently. Regards, team manager. So here we can see that I have extracted the data from the emails that I have received in my email account and automatically I have added all those extracted data in my Google Sheet. So whenever I'm going to receive a new email, then automatically I'm going to extract the data from that email and I'm going to add that details automatically in my Google Sheet. Now to check this in real time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a new email to my email account. So here I have received this email from this sender which is Anshul Sahu and I have this email subject which is team meeting and I have the email content which is hello we have scheduled a team meeting at 11 am tomorrow regards test user. So I have received this new email now what I need to check is that whether I have extracted this data from this email and automatically I have added this email data in my Google Sheet or not. Now to check this I have to go back to Google Sheet 
and here we can see I have automatically added this new row in my Google Sheet. So my sender name is Anshul Sahu. I have this sender email and I have the subject which is team meeting and this is my body text. So my body text is hello. We have scheduled a team meeting at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Regards, test user. So I have received this particular email content from my email and I have automatically extracted the data from that email and I have added those details automatically in my Google Sheet. So here my connection between my Gmail account and Google Sheet is working successfully such that whenever I'm going to receive a new email then automatically I'm going to extract the data from that email and I'm going to add that data in my Google Sheet. Now let's go back to Public Connect and here I have built this connection between email parser and Google Sheet in such a way that whenever I'm going to receive a new email then automatically I'm going to forward that email to Public Connect by using email parser and after forwarding that email, I'm going to extract the data from the emails like sender name, sender email, subject of my email and email content and automatically I'm going to add those details in my Google Sheet. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was email parser and my trigger event was capture email parser. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Google Sheets and my action event was add new row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com. Or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.